can see we've worked on 15 different industrial projects so far just this year and shown the expect building expect two building seven times so we're seeing a lot more activity there uh, the port of Kate's landing is in process and this has been a project that has been in process in, I guess the vision has been there for some years it is in action right now so the chamber is deeply <coughs> with that some of the board members are some of the main leaders on that board we do realize the economy has soured a little more recently but it has not soured our attitude and our vision and our actions that we plan to execute execute i can tell you we are going to be very proactive we're not going to stay down we're going to continue attacking and executing actions that will offset any of the negative things from our way our first speaker is an attorney got his law degree just up the road from us at southern illinois university and he worked for the past four years as the chief counsel for senator bob Porter in his washington office Paul Fossman is the Assistant Commissioner of Policy and Federal Programs for the State of Tennessee Department of Economic and Community Development. Please make it welcome. I'm looking at job development, job growth from a regional perspective. And I know regionalism is a, a big word nowadays, it's mentioned quite a bit, but we have to focus on what makes us strong. Um, and y'all are a good example of it. You're very much promoting the port. Um, you're very much promoting the industrial site around the port, which is pretty phenomenal if you go up there and actually lay eyes on it. And you understand that eight different counties, I believe you said, Alan, will feed workers into any factory that goes in here. So it is a pretty amazing thing what you all have going and you're leading by example, but it needs to keep going. We have kind of preached the choir here, but in the eight other regions, we're very much appreciated getting together, um, various chambers, associations, mayors, county and city, working together to uh, develop businesses for your area. Done, but if you would please give your attention to our friend, Mr. Jonathan Sangster, who is Senior Managing Director of CB Richard Ellis for the Black. Um, uh, when, we, when a client engages us and they ask us to help them find the absolute best fit location for their manufacturing plant, or their call center, or their distribution center, or they need to relocate their headquarters. Um, what process do we take them through? And in that process, how can you as a community be competitive? First and foremost, when companies are making decisions, really at the top of the list is, can I find the workforce that I need? Can I get the skill sets that I need? And I met some folks from the community college earlier, a great asset for your community. Uh, you've got to be able to be responsive and you've got to have real estate product and inventory otherwise it can be a filter or an eliminator incentives are really important i think you guys do it very well it's a filtering process the search site selection process is a process of elimination and as you work through the process at the end of the day you want to find the optimal or the best fit location make sense so what are, you, what are your strengths from my perspective? Um, I think it's a, a low cost of doing business and a low cost of living. A lot of that's driven by the surrounding areas in Tennessee. I think that positively impacts you and I think it's a true statement. Uh, particularly you look at, at, at things like your housing and, and other things. Legacy industries uh, continue to be a strength and I think that's gonna drive your target clusters. So manufacturing, food processing, agribusiness um, you know, are a lot of your strengths in this area. Uh, port possibilities, a lot of communities don't have that. So I think it could be a game changer for you. The community college, having that here um, is always an asset and I hope you're using it. Strong retail base, you're a regional draw, um, that's a positive, you got people coming here. Your, your out migration, your uh, population losses is probably a little less than some of your surrounding communities. And the fact that you have real estate inventory Alan drove me through all your parks and other parcels and the rail site, rail serve site and the infrastructure nearby. I gotta tell you, I'm impressed with um, what this community has done in terms of its real estate inventory and your assets. And I want to thank everyone for coming out. George Paul, Jonathan, appreciate all your advice and how much you've talked to us today. Hope you have a great day. Thank you.